Good evening, everyone, or good morning, or good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And thank you very much for joining us today um, for this rather big announcement that uh, the ICE Academy of Montreal has to make. My name is Jamal, and it's my pleasure to read you uh, a small text before the announcement will be made. Um, during these difficult times we're all going through at the moment, we're very excited to have undoubtedly positive news for you. You may remember exactly one year and five months ago, on the September 3rd of 2019, the skating school originally founded by Ma Marie-France Dubreuil, Patrice Lauzon and Roman Hagenauer launched as the ICE Academy of Montreal and established its ambition to advance the understanding and appeal of ICE dance globally. The creation of the ICE Academy of Montreal signified the center's commitment to the highest levels of coaching in ICE dance. Its abbreviation AM still reflects the commitment to furthering the sport of ice dance through a holistic development of individuals as athletes and as people. IAM had also committed to the, to the intention to build further coaching capacity and expansion of our programming. And today IAM is realizing this commitment. And now uh, I'm inviting to talk to you the founding partners of the ICE Academy of Montreal, Marie-France Dubreuil, Patrice Lozon, and Roman Hagenauer, as well as Scott Moy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Bonjour à tous. <laughs> 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 It's good to see you, my dear friends. So hello to everybody and thank you for accepting our invitation. Uh, I think if you join us today, it's because you care about our dear skaters and perhaps are interested about what we do in our school. So it seems like since I am was born a year and a half ago, so much happened. And this year, well, This one was a tough one. I mean, if you felt that too, my dear friends are not alone. <laughs> This year was tough for sure. But these tough times actually made us think and reflect a lot about the future. Um, we've worked very hard to serve our people better. This year we've worked by Zoom, we've worked off ice, we've worked on ice. And in our different work, we also collaborated with Scott on many different projects. And I have to say that this collaboration was an absolute success for all parties involved. This, it worked really well. And so with this, we decided to push forward a little bit that feel good experience. And I, I am here to, I have the privilege to announce that as of today, the ICE Academy of Montreal, in collaboration with Scott Moyer, is opening a second location in Southern West, Ontario. Woo! <laughs> oh, yay! We got our company. So I love that. Oh, the confetti. <laughs> um, so just a little bit more detail. Scott is the head coach of that location and will be also the managing director uh, of this new school that we also like to call the campus. Um, together, all of us together we'll, with Scott will push forward the I am vision and the I am culture. So we are very excited because and delighted, not because Scott was one of our students, so we love to be with them on the second part of his journey and, and collaborating and working together. But he's a, everybody knows he's a, you are a world-class skater, but he's a world-class person and is also an aspiring world-class coach. So it's an absolute uh, delight to have you on board, Scott, and you're the best possible person to be the addition and continuing the vision of I am. Uh, thank you very much, Mary Frost and, and Roman and, and Patrice. Oh, I don't know what I was to say. Uh, I can't really put into words my excitement, uh, but I'm going to try my best and, and kind of explain to you if it's not obvious already, uh, 
why this is such a huge moment. Um, not so much in, in my career, but in, in the career of future skaters. And uh, I think the effect that it'll have on ice dancing in, in Canada, but also uh, across the globe. So uh, for me, I, Tessa and I were able to train and uh, compete and represent our country uh, for over 22 years. And uh, none were more fulfilling than the two years that we spent within the walls uh, of IM. And their holistic approach, their athlete focus, um, their interest in you as a person uh, more than just a skater, and how their success really as a human being uh, is just something that changed my life. And uh, Tessa and I both changed both of our lives, actually. And I think it's the, a big reason why we look back on the sport with such uh, fond memories, why I'm still in the sport, why now I want to be uh, that positive influence uh, on people uh, who who decide to take up ice dancing. Now, oh, I will say we were able to to accomplish our goals at the 2018 Olympics, uh, and, and that was fulfilling. But at the same time, that wasn't the only reason. I look forward to bringing, um, you know, as I said, bringing a more holistic approach, but also to bringing an elite training center to my corner of the world. On behalf of my team, uh, the team that I work with here in Southwestern Ontario, our new IM campus here in Southwestern Ontario, um, it's kind of a combination of brilliant things in my life. Uh, the three people uh, that were that are the head of uh, IM, uh, Ice Academy of Montreal, Roman, Patrice, and Mary France, I don't think there are three people in the sport with more integrity and better morals and the way that they selflessly uh, train their athletes, the way that they check their ego and put their, their teams uh, in the best possible position to succeed, not only in the sport, but in life is heartwarming, but it's also just something, a sight to be seen. And for us to align with that today, to be able to kind of um, widen that reach, I think is a huge success and uh, well, there's a lot of work to do for us and, and our London, our team, the collaboration goes with people that have supported me, family members of mine that have coached skating for a long time um, and that have been world champions in their own right, as well as ex coaches uh, that, that had an effect on my life um, and are there now mentoring me. And we're kind of combining them together to create a destination where we're, athletes can come and be the best that they that they can be uh, in, in all aspects. So saying that, long-winded again, I was promising that I was going to shorten my answers after the Insta story, but it's really hard when talking about this excitement. And obviously, I just can't say enough about these, these three people of what they've created um, at the Ice Academy in Montreal and uh, really their generosity in reaching out a, a coach for me, a young coach trying to figure out um, how he can be most effective uh, and how he can uh, really have an impact on the sport of figure skating. They really, uh, not to be too cliche, but I will use a very cliche saying, they were the wind beneath my wings and they put me in position um, really to succeed and they continue to do that. Um, so this collaboration uh, is going to be, hopefully it's going to be very natural. I've already been up in Montreal. Um, we always took our students up, uh, you know, to Montreal as much as we could um, and, and tried to, to get the ideas. We were trying to be like uh, the Ice Academy of Montreal. So to have them open the doors, train us as a staff, train some of our kids as students um, is just a huge kind of boost for them. And it's going to be going to be pretty fantastic. So that's it for me. <laughs> I'm just like trying not to pop the champagne too early because I know there's a ton of work to do, uh, but it's very exciting. And we hope that everyone is excited uh, as well uh, out there. Oh, thank you. You're back. I was didn't like I'm being back. alone. Though. I was like, where did <laughs> Roman and uh, Pat and Mary go? No, thank you for what you said. You. <laughs> no, I mean it. So. Um, that was nice, Scott. Very nice. We're here to you and you did great. So, um, 
Yeah, here I am too. Yes. <laughs> well. well, thank uh, congratulations, guys. I mean, this is really it's it's amazing news. Uh, obviously, some people, I guess, were were expecting something. I know you have uh, worked very hard, but just as you said, Scott, um, it's very true. I think. Um, Great things will and can happen, but you also have a lot of work ahead. <laughs> um, so I would like to talk a little bit about this, um, what what your plans are and how you how you um, intend to also immerse Scott's new uh, IM campus in Ontario into the the Ice Academy of Montreal. Well. Actually, I think we really want to take our experience and what we built for the ten, past 10 years um, and, uh, and very much duplicate what the mother school is. Uh, we started the school with a thought that athletes are very special people and they deserve a safe environment to train in. They deserve to be respected and taken you know, into account that they're all individuals and they all have different needs. And, and this is, you know, I am school is great to acknowledge the individuality of people. And we're also always very interested in uh, expanding our coaching. So we're coaching all skaters, not only technically, but also artistically, mentally, emotionally. And uh, hopefully we give them tools for life with this because way past skating, there's also all sorts of human experience that you can benefit from when you're an elite athlete and so much opportunity. So we're very fond of giving that type of coaching to our athletes. And uh, I think Scott and his team have a, a growth mindset. They're such great people and generous and they can't wait to just absorb, and we can't wait to actually exchange with them uh, some, some of our knowledge and also some of theirs, because in his team, he has people that have years of experience in coaching. And uh, I was happy to reconnect with John Briscoe and, and some, uh, his mother and, and aunt, and, and it was just like, it, it already feels like a real organic connection between the the two, you know, the two staff, and it's it's just very inspiring. Yeah, and this way also we'll, we'll be able to use the resources from both school, uh, like especially now with that we learn to work with uh, with Zoom so much and, and through FaceTime <laughs> that it will be even easier. Like we do we can do more of the collaboration, like things like when we thought about doing other schools in, in the past uh, actually thought it was going to be harder, but now having lived through the past years of working with the internet, I think we're going to be able to do a lot. It's going to feel uh, more, um, more connected, more even connected. though we're far. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and also the, one of the goals of when we started uh, the school in Montreal, but not a goal, it was actually the first goal. It was so that, Athletes could train in their in their hometown. Like we were, uh, I was frustrated. I can say it. <laughs> Having to leave leave Canada to go to another country, not because it was another country. It's just like, why can I train? Like, where is in a high level school? Why can I develop in my own town, my own country? And then, so that's it's. We're excited now that we get to offer that opportunity again to to southwest Southwest Ontario and offer the kids that opportunity to train in their hometown, train in their own. On, on rink and and also our, we got a lot of success very quickly in, in Montreal so we weren't able to really ever uh, attack the full development of young super young athletes and and this is like this is the part I excited it's exciting me the most right now it's we'll be able now to, to expand, expand and, and, and work on all levels of skating so it's very exciting Scott, I know I know Marie France Patrice and Roman well enough to to say that uh, to be sure that they're not just going to come to Ontario and put you the I am stamp on your face, <laughs> even though you probably already have that a little bit in one corner. <laughs> but, Badly. Uh, tell the Don't viewers me. what is what is your <laughs> yeah, exactly. what is your intention? Uh, what 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 do you want to bring? To the school, what do you and your team? How do you intend to influence also also the future, and how do you how do you intend to shape the the future and the brand of AM? 
That's a great question, uh, Jamal. And that there's a there's quite a bit of work uh, to be done, but I think the the most important thing is is to bring. First of all, you know you're going to get the the Scott Moyer enthusiasm. Um, you know, like people have got a snapshot of, of what they saw in my life uh, as a competitor. Um, poor Tessa can probably uh, attest to the fact that it's like that every day, and it's a crazy amount of energy, and and that's going to be there, uh, of course, but. Uh, obviously, taking a different role now as as a coach, it, it's more about being athlete focused. That's I think the big thing. And and like you said, um, with with the I am stamp, I mean, this is this is about coming together uh, to create uh, the next best uh, generation, the evolution of the sport, uh, and and hopefully that can happen in in this area. That's really the dream. But um, Tess and I were great. Uh, well, I don't know if I've ever said that sentence. Tessa for sure was great. I was at least hanging on. And uh, <laughs> but we, we were able to have success because of the people who came before us. Uh, Mary France Patrice, born in Kratz, uh, Wilson McCall. Um, and, and hopefully uh, with giving back, then we will have champions and quality people that far exceed what we've accomplished. And we're already seeing that. Uh, I think in some of the young uh, Canadian teams and some of the young international teams that are coming up and I am, it's, I love going in there and, and seeing them at that age. I remember uh, being uh, part of uh, my growing up as a teenager was done in, in an ice rink. So to see them approach the sport so green, I love getting in there and, and having a little bit of an influence on them to really take advantage of that. But I think what I'm going to bring is, is an open heart and an open mind. Um, I love sport. The main reason I love sport is because what was successful in, in 2018 won't be successful in 2022. Um, my What I was good at won't be good enough uh, to win another Olympics. And uh, so I think that we're constantly growing, constantly evolving. This partnership shows um, how we're a community and we need to help each other. Uh, we need to really be there for each other so that we can reach greater heights. Um, we're trying to get rid of the kind of the silo thinking where you have your students, I have mine, and we'll see you at nationals. Um, <laughs> hopefully this is more of, of the, hey, if you need help, I can help, you can help me, and um, you should see the team and how they work at IM. That's how I knew that this partnership was going to work. Everybody comes to the table. Uh, everybody brings their best, checks their ego. And there's one goal, and it's to make the absolutely best product, absolute best product for the kids, for the athletes, part of me. And that's why we want to be a part of it. So in another long answer, Jamal, that's what we're going to bring. Um, I don't come alone. I will say that. Today, uh, I am the face as the managing director, and I've been just coming <laughs> around, even in the house here, which apparently I found out today in my house, I'm not managing director. But, uh, I am a uh, new campus. I am. Uh, that worked well. But uh, I, I really, I have a team I believe in. And we're going to continue to grow that team. Uh, we're going to continue to look for the, the professionals that come, come to work every day, uh, have a passion, and want to have the same goals as us, which is uh, to have people enjoy the sport and uh, live fulfilling lives. I think I speak for all of us saying that um, we we're very convinced that this will be a successful partnership and not a lot can go wrong. But still, I do have a question for Roman asking, uh, I would like to ask you, um, after all, you did have or you still have um, the Ice Academy of Montreal here. You have a lot of success. Um, a project like this, uh, venturing into an, uh, another uh, into another place, partnering with, with another school, um, it, it is a risk. Why is I am doing this, and what is your vision for I am maybe in the in the mid and long term? No, I don't think there is a, even a risk. You know, we, we just Patrice, Marie France, and I saw immediately the opportunity to to work. Uh, uh, in collaboration with uh, Scott, we trained him with Tessa, along uh, with Tessa, and uh, uh, we have learned so much working with the two of them on the ice. And uh, we, 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 we well, I speak for me, but I could, uh, and I'm sure Patrick and Marie-France agree, but uh, the, the passion Scott have 
has for uh, ice dance for the sport and also his vision as an athlete but also further um, for us it's not a risk at all because we are pretty sure that after being an amazing athlete he could be an amazing coach and uh, yes he can we have yes as you said jamal um, yes a lot of success already but we we started a long time ago and scott he uh, we, we hope is and we're sure is going to bring a, a fresh vision always in i am we always want to uh, do not stay on the past but look at the future and we are sure that scott in i am's team will bring that and will help us to evolve in many different ways in the sport of ice dance but also it could uh, with the second school in uh, southwest ontario it's for us uh, a lot of new opportunity to help more skaters to develop even more canadian skater but also international um, um yeah so, uh, <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I believe we're, we're all a little bit speechless. We again, uh, we have all worked very, very hard for this. And uh, now it's out there. Um, I hope you guys are happy and proud of yourselves. Um, this if you don't have anything to add then this is us uh, this is this is it from our side um for you at home thank you very much uh, for joining us i would also like to thank jordan cowan from honest perspectives he's actually the producer again behind our our live stream here thank you very much and now i would like to give the word to scott Oh yeah. Well, first of all, Jordan, thank you for that confetti. I didn't know that was a nice surprise. So I loved it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we've said enough uh, about this, but uh, I hope you understand uh, the spirit of this collaboration uh, and hopefully uh, understand uh, that it does make us stronger and, and stronger together. I am even using the hashtag these days, hashtag stronger together. And and uh, in the spirit of collaboration and in driving the sport forward, um, I hope that you will continue to support uh, uh, this I Am family uh, and can't wait to see where the future holds. Now I have to go and get to work. <laughs> <laughs> we, we yeah, have to go get to work. We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Jamal was putting the pressure on me early in the call. I don't know if you thought that. <laughs> Um, but thank you to everybody. Uh, as Mary said at the beginning, I think it's worth repeating. Thanks for uh, taking the time to care, to care about the skaters, uh, to care about this art that we all have so much passion for um, to, to join today and to listen uh, to us um, talk about what our plans are for the future. All the best. I hope everyone's in safe health um, and uh, stronger together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Merci, Bye. au revoir. Merci Thank à tous. Thank you. Bye.